He's had a mirror Android to PC, Mac, and TV. We're gonna share the top apps and methods right now so that you can start screen mirroring on Android quickly and easily. So there's lots of different use cases and reasons that you wanna do this, from just wanting to view your phone screen on a bigger screen, right through to recording and making tutorial videos. So in regards to sharing your Android device to a Mac or PC, there's a few different ways to do this, but this method I'm gonna take you through, I found to be consistently the most reliable and the best option that I've found. And it's actually using a piece of software called Reflector. This will work on both Mac and Windows, but it'll also work with Android and iOS devices too. So I'm over on the Reflector website now, and we can see that this is AirPlay, Google Cast, and Miracast all together for your computer. So you wanna go ahead and download the software. We can see there's a Mac and Windows version here. I'm gonna take you through showing the process on a Mac, but the process is exactly the same on Windows. So now that we have Reflector installed, we wanna go over to our Android device. We want to swipe down from the top so that we're accessing our quick access menu here. Swipe across if we need to, but what we're looking for here is screencast or screen mirror. So if we press on this now, then we can see we've got the option here to cast our screen or to mirror our screen to my MacBook. This is Reflector here. So if we press on this, in this case, it's asking, do we want to screen share a single app or our entire screen? I'm gonna choose entire screen. Let's hit start casting. Back in Reflector, we can see that there is a device here sharing its screen to our computer. So if we click on this, and then straight away we can see back on the computer, we have our phone screen mirrored here. Let's hit play on a video on YouTube. We can even rotate the screen here and that's going to mirror that there for us. Now inside a reflector, obviously this works well for mirroring your phone screen, but there's also so much more you can do. You have the ability to record, to take a screenshot. There's lots of settings in here that you can customize up. So if we just open up settings now, let's go to preferences. So just starting out here on the connection tab, you can see the different types of connections that you can open up to and also customize up the quality. So you can see here we can choose a resolution right up to 4K quality. And we can also customize up the recording quality in here as well. So we can set this here to very high. We could even change the frame rate as high as 60 frames per second if we'd like to. Now in terms of the recording, you're not just limited to recording your phone screen in here as well. You can actually also enable a webcam and a microphone in here and record all of them together. So your phone screen, the webcam, the microphone, which would be amazing if you're gonna be creating any sort of tutorial videos. So this is a really great simple method again for iPhone and for Android and not just mirroring, but also screen recording as well. Now in in terms of pricing, there is a free seven day trial available for Reflector. So if you wanna try it out first, then that's a great option. But to unlock all the features, all the functionality, and obviously use it longer than seven days, then that's where you'll need to purchase the app. And you can either buy a license here for just Mac or just Windows for $19.99, or you've also got the option up here to purchase a universal license that'll work on both Mac and Windows for $21.99. So incredibly cheap considering what you're getting access to. Now one last thing that you do need to be aware of with this method is that because it's run over Wi-Fi, you wanna make sure that both your computer and your phone has a strong Wi-Fi signal on the same Wi-Fi network for best results here. The next method is for connecting to a TV or a monitor. Lots of TVs these days have built-in phone mirroring capabilities. So it is worth a Google search for your specific make and model to see if yours supports phone mirroring straight out of the box. If it doesn't, then that's where you'll need to purchase something like a Google Chromecast to enable that screen mirroring functionality for you. But then from there, the process is almost exactly the same as what we just did in Reflector. We just wanna swipe down from the top twice to access that quick access menu, swipe across to where we've got screencast or screen mirroring and select that. We then wanna select our TV or our device we want to cast or mirror to. And if it prompts you to pick an individual app or the entire screen, then you can make that selection there and then you're good to go. Now, just the same as with the reflector option here, this again is done over Wi-Fi. So you need to make sure that your TV and your phone are on the same network and they do have a strong Wi-Fi connection for both of them. Now there's one more option that typically gives you the highest quality screen mirroring and it also doesn't require Wi-Fi so that you've got no issues with Wi-Fi signal strength or any lag or delay in there. And that's directly connecting your device to your TV or to your monitor over HDMI. Most devices these days will either let you connect an HDMI cable with an adapter into your phone or through a USB dongle or hub. So then it's just a matter of directly connecting your device with that adapter through to your TV or to your screen. And that mirroring is going to happen automatically for you. Again, with high quality and very minimal lag or 
or delay. The biggest downsides with this is obviously you're gonna need a cable long enough for the distance that you wanna be away from the screen. And it's also worth noting that this is not for recording capabilities. So it's great just to mirror your screen for when you don't need to record. So those are my top options right now for screen mirroring your Android device. As always, we've got a bunch of other resources and links down in the description box below to help you even further. Check out the videos that YouTube is recommending for you linked on screen. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.